19 years of age. Lifetime best set this year. This her major championship debut. Not so for this lady though, Brittany Mason. She's the world and championship record holder. She's also the defending world champion. Lancis representing Thailand. Pagopon Gagoon of Thailand never made it out of the heats in this event. That will be her main goal. Julie Ross. Julie Ross of Germany. Another youngster, 17 years of age on her debut. As is this lady here. Ability Udo. 18 years old. So we've got 16, 17, 18 and 19. And we have Brittany Mason. He's not much older herself. The reigning champion who also won silver in the 100 and 200 at the Paralympic Games. She'll go from lane five, will the American. Two fastest will go through. And after that, it is the next two best times from the three heats that will advance through to the final. So this event for the upper limbs, affected by a limb deficiency, impaired muscle power or the impaired passive range of movement. And you'll notice that they, some of them use, because of that upper limb issue, have to use help when they start on the line there. Well, they're away. It was a slow start by Udo out in lane eight, but it wasn't a slow start from the reigning champion, Brittany Mason of the United States. She's got away rather quickly indeed, and she's going to go through in first place in a time of 12.39. So, not the fastest of times, but the Canadian, Shariana Haas, has also run a really good race as well. She came home in second place. Mason's time confirmed there at 12.38 for the American so it is the first two that will go through and Huss will join Mason in the final not too many issues there from Brittany Mason she seemed to hold her style pretty well throughout and the youngster making a championship debut the just 16 year old from Canada Shariana Huss you need a break? A lifetime yes, best for her. That Augusto, a lifetime break. best as well in third place, the Brazilian in 12.69. So she'll be hoping to go through as one of the next two fastest into the final. But Brittany Mason there, step three. It was a, a fairly easy race for her as far as those big races go. But that lady there was very impressive. Shariana Haas was very, very close to a world record holder. I mean, to come out at 16 in your debut and set a PB. I think it was a bit unfortunate for Ability Udo in late eight. You could see she wasn't quite settled, but Brittany Mason certainly was ready to take off. And she showed a lot of power out of the start, which is not surprising, as I have seen a video of her repping out squats at 445 pounds. We see again just there. And sometimes that's the difficulty in the start position when you only have the use of one arm. Some athletes make use of an assistive device like Augusto from Brazil just to get that balance at the start. Well, Mason there, towards the end, I, I thought Haas might fall away a little bit, but she just stuck with her. So there's plenty of ability in the youngster, 16 years of age, making a debut on the far side there at a major championships. And I thought at that point there, she may just drop away. She did. She held her form. She held her style. And she's fully deserved to go through and to the final. Look at Haas's face. There's absolutely no tension. It's the same thing from, from Brittany Mason. They are just cruising across the line, saving a little bit of extra energy for that final. Well, three lifetime bests and a season best in those who came in behind. Brittany Mason, she gets a hug from Nick May 